KSM show. Wow. Folks, folks, you, you, you can see I'm a little sober today, man. And I'm not in that high spirits mood in my opening. Do you know why? Something very, very tragic has happened to in, in Ghana. And I hear two young boys have actually murdered a 10-year-old boy. And that's all they're talking about. Radio, TV, is all about how Ghanaians are shocked that these two little boys actually murdered someone. Do you know my reaction? I am surprised that people are surprised. Honestly, I am shocked that people are shocked. What did you expect? What legacy have we left to the youth? And on this part, I blame myself as well. Our generation has failed the youth. Plain and simple. We have failed them. Look, we set up the legacy for them to inherit. And what they see us do, what, what they learn from us, is what they become. Do you know what I'm saying? So all the youth have become, let me tell you the three things that we are teaching them. One is greed. Bibia is it's all about making money. One is greed. One is mediocrity. We don't have any standards in this country. And the third one is mendacity. Deceptive people, very, very uh, 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 dishonesty. And that's what we're teaching the kids. So you're surprised that two of them have gone and killed somebody? I'm surprised you're surprised. We are teaching them this. Look, we are living in a country where on Sunday, a pastor, an alleged man of God, can stand on the platform and actually tell the people, I have oil. One guy I was listening to said he has oil. And even if you owe the bank, or if you owe some people, you can use this oil and they'll forget that you owe them. I swear. This guy said he has a testimony of somebody who owed the bank. And mysteriously, his... his, his his, his, his papers have been, has, has just vanished from the bank. Can you believe such nonsense? But here we are in Ghana. It is permitted. Let me say, with all respects to the regulators at the National Media Commission, and is it the NCA? I don't know which one of them is in charge of regulating the media. Are you doing your work? That's what you know. In the meantime, we have fake pastors. We have fake malams, deceiving people, ripping people off, stealing their money. And you sit down quietly and watch them, because this is a democracy. Yeah, mobo. And then you come and tell me that we are shocked that these two boys have gone and killed somebody. Do you know why they want to kill the person? Because the TV that is not regulated is telling them that some malam says if you can kill somebody and bring body parts, we'll double whatever money you have. TV is the same TV that we watch every day. Where are the people who are supposed to regu regulating it? Are they asleep? Are they dead? And you get around and say, What is surprising, folks? You see, my, my, my thing is this. It can get worse. If we don't sit up as a nation and start thinking critically, intelligently, it's going to get worse. Have you realized that in Ghana right now, the people who are noticed, who are, who are praised, who are adored, are the people with the most nonsensical ideas. What can you say? You see, prophets, I won't even mention their name there. You know them. They talk utter rubbish, but Ghanaians glorify them. Hey, hey, prophet, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Mobo. Mumon Pai and Anya worse. Anyway, folks, let me say this, man. What I like about the show I do is that every week we'll find some people who have a good story, who have a story that will not depress the nation, who have a story that can inspire people. And that's what I like about this show. Last week we, we, we talked about this young guy, eight years old. He is the champion of the underlying chess in the whole of Africa. He's from Ghana, eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure you don't even pay attention to that. But I brought some slave queen and said that she had slept with all the ministers, by this time it would have been headlines in the whole country. And say who and say who? What country are we building, folks? But anyway, I have a great show today because I'm honored and extremely happy to be hosting, I call it Chilling with the Ladybirds. These are two pilots, and they work with uh, Passion Air. One of them is Captain Eva, 
Gishuru, and the other one is a Ghanaian. She's the first officer, Audrey Swatson, and they're doing amazing things. A few weeks ago, they commandeered the whole airline from Accra to Kumasi, and it was all female. Show some love, man. <laughs> The, the, the captain, the first officer, and all the stewardess in the plane were all female. They committed a flight to Kumasi. And this is what we celebrate on this show. Until when you hear all the rubbish that goes on in Ghana, at least on Friday, you can count on the KSM show that will bring you some glitter of sanity in this world. Yeah. <laughs> Ghana, yeah, my boy. Yeah, my boy. And I'm telling you, all we need is common sense. And I'm happy to tell you that next week, I'm hosting my dear friend, Avram Ben Moshime. Show some love, man. <laughs> Avram Ben Moshe will be with us next week, and he's going to teach us how to join the common sense. <laughs> yes, and that's why this show is numero uno, and will be, continue to be numero uno until kingdom come. So today we're going to be meeting these two great guests, you know, and I'm happy to say that the passion there is now associated with the program. And from now, we're going to go straight to the three wise men. <laughs> I call them our council of state. And do you know what they're going to be talking to us about today? What's the name of the first lady or who is the first lady of Ghana? The three wise men will boggle your mind. And after that, I come back and introduce my lady birds. <music> KSM show. Who is the first lady? <laughs> Nana Konadu. <laughs> Who is the first lady? Who is the first lady? Eh? Auntie Regina. <laughs> Auntie Regina. <laughs> Who is the first lady? Lady. First lady. First lady. First lady. If. <laughs> the KSM Show. Tell you what it happened. This is Manifest the God MC, and you are watching the KSM show. Do not change that channel. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is one of the shows that I, I feel the vim even before I start, man. Show some love, man. Show some love, man. Today I'm hanging out with the ladybirds, man. You don't understand ladybirds <laughs> now, but you you know why I'm saying ladybirds very soon. I'm hugging out with the ladybirds. Show some love for the ladybirds, man. Well, I'm sure you read in the news or possibly on Facebook that at one point, uh, Passion Air, they flew to Kumasi and the crew, the entire crew was female. Show it up, man. <laughs> the, the captain, the first officer, and all the flight attendants. <laughs> Well, 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 today, today, we're lucky to have two of them. We're going to be talking very soon. I'm going to be introducing the captain, female, beautiful female from Kenya, and then the first officer, a beautiful, beautiful first officer from Ghana. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, show some love like you've never done before for the first guest, Captain Eva Gishuru. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey. Thank guys. you for having me. <laughs> oh, please, please listen. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And, and, and following closely behind her, put your hands together, show some love for First Officer Audrey Swanson. <laughs> Woo! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good goodness. Eva and Audrey, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Oh, my pleasure. Audrey, good to have you guys here. Thank you for having okay. us. Okay, we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, I'll be talking to the ladybirds, man. <laughs> you mind if I call you ladybirds? I like it, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so folks, just stick around. When we come back, 
I'm hanging out today with the Ladybirds. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And um, today, folks, as I said in the beginning, I'm hanging out with two Ladybirds. I'm saying Ladybirds because one is a captain of uh, the airline and the other is the first officer of the airline. And by the way, I'm sure you had the news some time ago that uh, Passion uh, flew to Kumasi and the crew was all female, man. Show some love for that, man. <laughs> and, 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 and today I'm lucky enough to have the, the captain and the first officer to come and join me here at the Cactus Creek, man. To just shoot the breeze, man. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Welcome one more time. Thank you very and much. And Audrey, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. We all read this news, man. And yes. I'm going to start with you because you're closer to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the captain. <laughs> okay. Even before I start, how does it feel like being the captain? How long? Have, you've been flying, but you're the captain. Yes. And how? Oh, well, uh, my first captaincy was on the caravan. That's a smaller, it's a 14-seater aircraft. That oh, was back they call it in, a caravan. Yes, they call it a caravan. That was back in 2014, I think. 2014? Yes. How long have you been flying? First job since uh, 2012. Since 2012? Yes. So oh my goodness. I've been at it. <laughs> Next year will be 10 years. Next so year will be 10 years? Yeah. Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And so you're captain now? Yes. And how does it feel? More responsibility, but I like it. You like it? <laughs> yes. This is a very male-dominated world, you know. Oh, for sure. This is all men. And, yes. And you are, you are a lady, and you're from Kenya, yes. by the way. Yes, I am. How Ghana? How did you end up here? I was told about it from a friend, a former colleague, who's in currently a passion here. So I was like, why not? It will be a new adventure and a new experience. What, what, what does that tell you, that there was an airline in Ghana? Yes, he's working. With passion air oh, right he's now. working with passion. Yes, okay. yes. So we were working together in the former company. So he's the one who told me about it. Oh. And it so he said a uh, passion air was looking for pilots. Yes. In Ghana. Yes. And he said, "What the hell? I, I'm going to. I'm going to." <laughs> yes. So how uh, was the process? How did you get in touch with Ghana? And uh, I actually interviewed online because that's when I did the interview online. Then got the job. I was actually supposed to come in March of last year, mm. but then COVID happened. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I only ended up coming in November. Mm. Yes. Because mm. the borders mm. closed, everything was a bit shaky. So we had to wait to see how things will stabilize a bit. Then I ended up coming finally in November. Oh, so you mean you were passionate since November? November, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. I'll get back to you very, very soon. Okay. Let me talk to you too. You started piloting, you, you graduated at the age of 17. Tell me, maybe I... Uh, no, I started at 17. Oh, you started at 17? Yeah. Show some love, man. <laughs> oh, but you're 17, you know, you play. <laughs> wow. What inspired the interest in flying? How old were you when you decided that flying was your thing? Um, at age nine. Eight, nine? Yeah, at first I wanted to be an athlete for Ghana because that was when Olympics was a big thing because we used to watch it on TV. But Ghana did really used to perform well, so I wanted to be the person representing Ghana. You wanted to be an athlete? Yeah, because I don't have to prep to, you know, like excel in the tracks. But later on, when an elderly person asked me how long I wanted to do it, I didn't have answers. And when I was younger, I didn't like socializing with people. So I thought being a pilot, you don't socialize with people, but it was a lie because we are always <laughs> with people. Yeah. Yeah, pilot was a lonely position. You're just flying and you don't yeah. have to socialize with people. Yeah, but then that's not it at all. So that's what inspired you into piloting? Yeah, that's what I thought was the picture, but that's not it at all. That's not it at all. Nah. We'll get back to you. <laughs> Captain, yes. how did you, what inspired you to be a pilot? What about, was it about planes? No, for me, I love traveling. Oh, you love traveling? <laughs> yes. So I By air or just regular traveling? <laughs> no, just visiting different places. I think it's very inspiring and also informative when you see how other people are living their lives. Eh? So that was how I started flying. So I th in my head, I thought if I cannot afford to fly commercially, then I can fly myself. So I started it as 
because I, I loved to travel. So, so you, you wanted to be a pilot course so you could travel? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that was it? No, but growing up, I actually wanted to do, do, be a doctor. That was my, mm. when I was younger. The only intention yeah. was to be a doctor? Yes. And then you like traveling, so then you decided... Somewhere along the line. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> and, uh, I hear your mother yes. and your elder sister were very instrumental in this. Oh, yeah. Your training. Sure. In a, tell me a little bit about it. Um, I've been raised by a single mother. And oh, she, you're raised by a single mother? Yes. And she's the one who paid for me to go through flying school. She had to do like three jobs to get me to where I am today. So it's because of her I'm here today. Oh, really? What's her name? Yes. She's Mary Gishuru. <laughs> Mary Gishuru. Yes. Show her some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. let, let, let me get this. Um, at what age did you tell her that you wanted to fly? And like I said in the beginning, flying is a very male-dominated yes, What was her reaction? And um, did you have a hard time convincing her? No, I actually didn't have a hard time convincing her. She's very strong and she believes that, you know, if you love some, what you do, then you can, there's nothing that should stop you really? from doing it. Yeah. She wow. was actually the one who encouraged me to do it. She was like, why wow. not? Yes. Because you grew up in Kenya. Yes, I did. So I can imagine, just like Ghana, we have a very chauvinistic society. Yes. And there's a very male dominated <laughs> thing. And she didn't bother at all. No, but in Kenya, there's a bit more of us. Oh, there's, there is, there's more? There's really? more female pilots, for really? sure. Yes. We'll be talking about that. Yes. Let me go to Audrey. <laughs> when you made the decision, right. piloting, how did you break the news to your parents and what, how did they receive it? Um, I, I didn't have any challenge with it. They thought it was one of those childhood dreams and that when I grow older, I you will stop. forget about it. <laughs> yeah, but then... So they thought you were kidding. Yeah. When you grow up, you you, you you're yeah, gonna think of then, something better to do. Right. And then, but then they started saving and investing just in case when I grow older, they're different. If I choose to do something else, their money is still theirs. But if I still want to become the pilot, their skills wouldn't be, they don't have money to let me go through flight training. So yeah, that was their stance. Yeah. So, so how did they eventually agree that, okay? Oh, they had always agreed. So I knew that from primary school, I go to JHS, then senior high school, then I go flight training. So university was not a topic in my home because um, they understood my career path and what I wanted to be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where, where did you go to school? That's from your primary. Um, university of Ghana Basic School, Legon. University of Ghana, Legon. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. And, and then, then you did your... Yes, Ghana well. Christian International High School, Dodoa. And then from there I went to flight training in SA. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 And your primary was where? Ooh. <laughs> not not that I'll know where it is. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so very interested. <laughs> uh, so many many Kenyans will be watching on YouTube. Well, they, uh, <laughs> they'll probably know. <laughs> well, it's on the outskirts of Nairobi. There's a town called Pika. I went to St. David's Girls Primary School. Okay. Yes. And then from there? Went to Hekima. That is high school. And then now... I initially started my training in Kenya for my PPL, then I went to South Africa for my PPL commercial. is a private, private pilot's, pilot's license. license. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Then I went to South Africa for the commercial. Okay. Yeah. So you did your private pilot's license in Kenya? Yes. And then went to South Africa for yeah. the commercial? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Audrey, you did your private. When did you get your private? I did all of my training in South Africa. Oh, you did everything in South Africa? Yes. Let me ask you both this. Um, okay. Did you meet in school? Did you go to the same school? <laughs> <laughs> well, you. you are much, much younger. Oh, yeah. you. <laughs> I forgot you as a baby. No. <laughs> yes. Not quite a baby, but so, but, yes. but it wasn't the same school. No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. So you met at Passion. <laughs> oh, you met at Passion? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. How many, are there female pilots in Passion or just the two of you? No. Oh, we have three. One more. There's one more? Yes. Oh, that's why. Just a love for passion, man. <laughs> just a love for passion, man. Wow. So yeah. there's one more? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, the first flight to Kumasi, that was all female. Yes. Both of you were flying? Yeah. Yes. 
Did the men know that? <laughs> no, this sounds like a joke, man. I can imagine myself in the plane and they come and tell me, Kesha, Chale, man, Kwan, Hey, wait a minute. Did the men know it's all female and they didn't care? Uh, this is like a joke, but it's very serious. Uh, was, did you get any reaction prior to flying? Let me start with you. No, I didn't actually. No. It was, yeah, I was, was yeah, yeah, it was, maybe they were shocked, but <laughs> <laughs> they didn't tell me. <laughs> ah. Yeah, they didn't tell me. It was, uh, it was good. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I see. I mean, sadly, this is not supposed to be a feat, but it, but it is because <laughs> Women are not, you know, featured so much in this industry. Yes. Audrey, your first yeah. flight out, so did they, did they, or you didn't know whether they knew or not? <laughs> well, I, I'm not able to tell. You're not able to tell? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not able to tell. Uh, maybe when they got down, they then they <laughs> told them, Chale, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, so when the doors were closed, they were hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 but that, that's, that's astounding. That's really, really, really astounding. Yeah. Um, was that your, in Ghana, was that your first? That was not your first flight in Ghana, No, right? no, no. No, no okay. that, it wasn't. Yeah. And um, Audrey? That was my first. <laughs> that was your first? Yeah. As flight officer? Um, like, all female crew, that was my first. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. You, you've been flying for a while. Yes. You fly in Congo, you worked in Sudan. Yes. South Sudan. South Sudan. Somalia. Somalia. And Chad. And Chad. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Huh? So what, you were working with airlines in these countries? No, the company I was working for was contracted by the World Food Program. So we used to do humanitarian work. Oh, yes. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and I hear you're flying in Sudan during the war. Yes, it happened. <laughs> I've never experienced war. You really but experienced I war? No. But I experienced it in South Sudan for the first time. So when you were assigned to Sudan, yes, South Sudan, and you knew there was war, were you hesitant or you were like, it's my profession? Uh, we didn't know it was going to happen. Okay, at least I didn't know. So it was just any other like normal working day. So the, the contract is you're there for six weeks, then you get uh, two or three weeks at home. So it, the war broke out while I was there. Oh, yes, it, okay. was, it was not expected. Wow. Yeah. Huh? But we lived through it. <laughs> <laughs> How long through the war? Ooh, I think I stayed, I stayed there for the six weeks left. Six weeks, yeah. It, it, it goes up and down that mm, country, yes. Mm. So, Were there any particular incidents that come into your mind readily? No, luckily we were working for a company and the UN our security was so like they cancelled most for like two weeks i think we didn't mm, fly mm. then when they opened up the airspace we were now getting people out of the remote areas and bringing them into the capital juba and then from juba they take their international flights back mm, to their mm. countries okay. but i saw a lot of death in that country for sure oh, wow. yeah for sure wow yeah. flying in a war zone it's, it's <laughs> not fun eh? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Audrey, what, what, okay. what has been your, should I say, scariest or the most exciting moment in, your, in, your, in the history of your flying? Uh, most exciting, I'll say my first solo flight. Your first solo, solo flight. flight? Yeah. During training, um, you start off flying with an, like an instructor and then when they feel you can take off and land on your own safely, they let you go. So that's a big um, hallmark for me, and I remember it so well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You get so washed after that <laughs> oh, <laughs> to <yeah>. celebrate. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you're flying solo? Yeah. yeah, like you alone for the first you time. You alone? Yes. <laughs> was scary? It was scary yet exciting, so yeah. From the layman, this is all we hear that's, <laughs> oh, once you are mid there, it's, it's quite cool, but it's the takeoff and the landing that are the problems. Is that true, Aubrey? Um, is it is this career taking off and landing, or that's our lay our lay people's? Uh, I think so. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, you, the same? Yes. Statistically, yes. Most accidents happen when you're taking on off. takeoff and on landing. That's the most critical time. Yes. 
Have you have you been in a near scary situation like whoops? No, thankfully. No on wood. <laughs> no on wood. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Charlie. No on wood. That is fantastic. And, and you, Audrey, have you? No, maybe. No. no. It's not going to happen. So. <laughs> and uh, it's it's quite funny. I was talking about how traditionally, you know, we are all a very male-dominated society, mm. and we think, you know, just how we've been institutionalized as human beings. When it dawned on you that you are captain of the flag yes. and you're flying all women, did it jolt you in any way or you were like, no, it's no big deal. It's like any other day at work because we are all professionals. We've all been trained. We're all good at what we do. Mm. It's just that it happened that we were all women. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. So it was exciting. It was exciting. <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure. Was. For Audrey. sure. Yeah. yeah, it was exciting. It was yeah. exciting. Wow. Yeah, it was. I'm hanging out with the lady birds, man. <laughs> show them some love one more time. <laughs> and, and of course, you have to show, you have to show passion and some love, man. Because, uh, <laughs> do, they, do they have a deliberate policy to recruit women? Would you know that? That's for the human resource people. <laughs> Equality. <laughs> Equality. Yes. I see. Yeah. I see. So right. Equal job opportunity. Okay. Yeah. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, I want to get more about your childhood growing up and everything. <laughs> so stick around. After the commercial break, we'll find out some more exciting things about you. Okay. Okay, All right. sure. okay folks. Hanging out with the ladybirds. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, let's get personal. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back, we're back. And thank you very much. As I said today, I'm hanging out with the ladybirds, man. And um, for me, it was it was it was interesting reading and hearing that an all-female crew had manned a passion uh, flight to Kumasi. It shouldn't be, but in our system, it is. So, and they are here with us. So, uh, show them love one more time. And the ladybirds are here. Audrey, this time I'm going to reverse and start with you. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm not, uh, very, very interested. Being a pilot mm -hmm. now, are, are you in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not expecting that. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. I wanted to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. Are you, are you like dating now? or yes, what is I it? am. You are? Yeah. Really? So he's watching now? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Oh, he is watching. He's not going to miss his show. Show him some love, man. <laughs> Who about this? <laughs> right. So how busy are you with, with flying and how is it balancing that with everything else? Does he sometimes get scared? What attracted him to you? That you fly? Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. I think that's the last thing. About... That's the last thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's the first thing? Well, I can't tell, but flying, <laughs> yeah, being a pilot is the last thing. Okay, I think, right? okay. And yeah, you, my schedule you, can be busy. Yeah? Yeah, but okay, then okay. there's a balance as well. Mm. We get off days. I'm not always flying. I think, um, if at all, I'm usually on the ground more than I'm flying. So, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'll be asked. You know what you asked? Ah. <laughs> so, that's a general, you know, lovely questions. But we'll get back to flying, trust me. Oh. We'll Hopefully. get back to flying, but there are some questions if I don't ask my, my, my audience gets upset with me. Okay, Sam, so you didn't, you didn't, you didn't ask these things, you know. Are you, are you, da are you married, dating, something? No, I'm not married. You're not married? No. Plans? For sure. I've even been a few proposes. I should oh, get really? a Ghanaian man, right? I <laughs> Ghana? Oh. That's the latest. The latest. <laughs> Just a lot of Ghana, man. <laughs> Ghana, man, I'm home with you. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. well, that's the latest. <laughs> and before the latest, there were some series of Kenyans. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah. And uh, how, how active is that? Are you considering... Oh, he's watching, so I better... 
I better be very careful what I ask. Or be, you better be very careful, careful how you what I say, it. right? <laughs> yes. I know. Yeah. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. Yes. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah. That's why I'm not going to go that into. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to harass you anymore. But let, let, let's let me go back to your childhood. Okay. You know, you you grew up with a single mother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Where your father was. I never met him. Oh, you never met him? No, so oh, wow. I, 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 I don't even know if he's alive or dead. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So okay. it's the normal for me. So it's not like I was lacking something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you I just grew up in it. Yes, I see. so it was the normal for me. I see, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you and your sister, you had other siblings? I just have one elder sister. It's one other sister, yes. okay. Yeah. And she is she's a pilot as well? No, no, no. She's in real estate in oh, Kenya. Oh, she's in real estate? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You both smart. You both went where the money is, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know how to follow the money. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Wow. So she's in Kenya? Yes, she is. Do you go home often or? Yes. Um, I work three months here, then I get one month at home. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Three months in Ghana, one and month. Then one month okay. Yes. All right. Let me find out about your your siblings. You look like the youngest. Are you the youngest? <laughs> oh, you're the, the first. first yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's very interesting because you have set a very high standard for those oh, who are following you. Well. Right. Yeah. Oh, how many after you? Three. Three. Yeah. And what? They are all at the university primary. Oh um, <laughs> no! <laughs> like everyone is out of. Oh, I'm going to out of school now. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, so you're such again. a young lady. I still think you just left, you know. <laughs> no. Yes, I <laughs> What do they do? Um, one is into sports coaching. The other is um, journalism. And then the last one is yet to go to... Oh, he's in final year senior high school. Okay. What are your responsibilities as the first? Is there any pressure being the first? No, nothing no? at all. No. <laughs> Who are your parents? Um, my mommy's name is Lucy Arthur Swatson, and my daddy, of blessed memory, was um, Isaac Quisi Swatson. A blessed memory? Yes. Uh, how long has... Um, a year now. What's next for you? You're flying now, you're a captain. Yes. What are you aspiring to be? Jets. Now I want to go to the jet. Oh, oh whoa. Right. You want to fly a jet now? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So tell me the, 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 the level. So you start with the, you said one was the caravan? Yes. The caravan is the 14 seater? Yes. Okay, then you get then to... I've now I've been flying, for the last maybe three years now, I've been flying the Dash 8. The? Dash 8. Okay. Yes. Then now I want to go. To the so jet. the next will be the jet from where you are? Yes. Really? <laughs> right? Wow. You have to dream big. Uh. By all means, show some love, man. Yeah. You gotta dream big, man. It's going to dream big. Yeah, right. What about you, Audrey? Um, the Dash 8 is the first one after my flight training. So, yeah, I also want to end up on the jets. You also want to end up on the jets? Yeah. Okay. So, here's you, passionate. You better get a jet or you lose <laughs> <laughs> No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. They're not leaving now. They're not leaving now. No, no, no. Now, let's talk about being female in a very, very male dominated. Uh, profession yeah do you do you feel it as you work your co the other pilots is there anything or they in or in piloting they just accept everything as equal and you just move on no no at first there's always you get judged you know like uh, mm. are you really good but then after a while after you've proven that you can actually do the job then it becomes they treat you like any of the other guys mm. now yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they forget that you're a girl you anymore. Don't boys, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Which, what, what, did you have any experience where like a male pilot was like you could visibly tell that they were doubting if you could if you could do it no a male pilot no but i've had a passenger in south oh, the sudan passengers. In, yeah. in south sudan who, I understand he was an old man. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? No, he was just confused. Like when I got off the plane and he was asking, You? So, <laughs> so he's pointing to it, I'm like, Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. And the talk, also because of the language barrier. Language barrier. Yes, yes, yes. yes so yes, he yes, just yes. walked away. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm imagining what he would have done if he had known before you flew. <laughs> no, he was. He had not even. I had not even flown him yet. Oh, you haven't even flown him yet. No. He was supposed to get on the flight with me. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you found out you are flying. Yes. It was like, eh, you see him bring? No, I didn't. <laughs> but he was happy after that. Was, yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yes, oh, that's cool. That's, cool. that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, first, first officer. Um, Any oh, yeah. experience with the, this gender thing? Yeah, but it comes off. It doesn't come off hard. It okay. comes off usually maybe like a backhand. And then, yeah, in the beginning, when you work with a group of pilots, guys, uh, yeah, it's more like they want to see if you're able to do it as much as mm. they can do it. Mm. But after a while, like you are one of them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then they accept you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask a very crazy, <laughs> ignorant question. Bear with me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, you came from Kenya. Yes. And then you are put in the place, you go to Kumasi. When you're flying, <laughs> How, wait, so you have a map that guides you to go to where you're going for the first time. Well, it's not like you're driving and there are landmarks, yes. you know. Yeah. There are no landmarks up there. <laughs> no, no, for no. sure. <laughs> no, but when I initially came, I was also, I flew with another captain, a training okay. captain. Okay. Because this is a new area for me. Mm. So I had to get familiarized. Okay, the okay. Fast and then so they, they don't, don't put you out there? No, they just don't put you, you out there. You fly with somebody who yes. knows the area? Yes. Okay. And then, then after that, then that's when I get to fly with a fast officer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What are the things you have to learn up there? I mean, there are no, there are no traffic lights. There. <laughs> it's not like when you get here, there's going to be a sharp turn to the... <laughs> what do you study? Flying. What, what are you? the things you look out for? When you're flying? Yeah, for uh, your first time. Like you're going to Kumasi for the very first time. Yeah. What are things? Up there, there's really not much. But like when you're coming into land, that's when you you like see the landmarks. Okay. Like coming into Accra, I know where Palace Mall should be on the left. <laughs> yeah. So and what's uh, village? What village? Yeah. Yes, village should, should be on right. the right. The runway is just for situational okay. awareness. Right. But normally we have a GPS. That's what we follow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So even up there, landmarks are sort of helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, huh? <laughs> 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 yes. 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 Um, my duty as the first officer is to assist my captain. To oh, you assist the captain? Yeah, to complete his or her task. Well, in flying, we, we both play different roles. One who is flying and, like, you know, moving us to where we are going. And then the other also communicating with ATC, air traffic controller. So maybe um, we have situation awareness incomplete. So we are in and then we are outside. Because you're not just... You're not the only person flying. There are also other, other aircraft. aircraft yeah. yeah, so the air traffic controller on ground is telling you where to turn or how much to descend, where to stop. Maybe you are clear takeoff. So one person is playing that communication role and then the other is playing the flight control role. So as the first officer, you're getting the information and then you communicate to the, to the captain? Yeah, or? and it sometimes changes. But my role is to assist the captain. In case you're flying, anything happened and you, you have to take <laughs> over the flying. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been trained for yes. that. So we've been trained for that. She yeah. has to, yes. Yeah. It's, it's a two-man crew, eh? In case of incapacitation, Oh, she, then the other one takes over. Yes, she right. has to be able to fly and land the aircraft. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So educate, educate me about, um, <laughs> like, like you're flying uh, the aircraft now, you want to do the jet. What are, you, what are things that you need to know about flying the jet that, that you don't have access to now? What are some of the things? Our licenses are very tricky. Just because we are pilots doesn't mean we can fly any Anything. aircraft. Okay. Yes. Right. So for every aircraft that you get and those to fly, you have to do training for it. That's why we end up going for simulator training mm. every six months, even as a refresher. And then after the simulator training, then you have to do a written exam and pass. Then after the written exam, you do training on the actual aircraft mm. with a training instructor. And then once they're satisfied, 
that you can actually fly and then that's when you are released and then it's endorsed on your license okay. yes it's okay. it's not just because i have a license i can doesn't mean fly <laughs> yeah no. i can go it yeah mm, yes mm, mm, yeah mm. It's, it's a lot of work a lot of reading too eh? oh. yeah, a lot, yeah a lot of reading <laughs> yeah. yes yep. well yeah. how long was the, the course to come up with your commercial pilot license oh uh for me it took me one year but for my pilot's, uh, private pilot's license, that took like about eight months. Then when I went to South Africa, I went to South Africa for one year. But with the funds ready, you can even finish in six months. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It took one year. Yeah. I, I read some time, somewhere that your, ma your mom raised the money, your mom and your sister. Yes. Tell me about that. A lot of hard work. <laughs> If you tell my sister right now, she says she doesn't even want to hear that any of her kids wants to become a pilot. She's wow. like, no. Wow. Oh. Wow. And also it's a very, like for me, it took me two years to get my first job. Because, two years to get a first job? Yes. So, because everybody wants experience. Mm. And experience means you have to be flying. But how, then, how, what's the minimum length of, you, have, you should have been flying to be considered experienced? See, when you're leaving flying school, you have like 250 hours. Mm. But most companies want maybe a, a thousand. <laughs> no, they want to know that you've been actually you've flying. You've been active, yeah. yeah. So I had to do a lot of freelance, fr flying for free for different companies, yes. Until I got a couple of hours, then I eventually got my first job. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's, you need to be very determined. And to I stick it up, yes, it's you. not, it's I not all you. fun and roses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay, how did you learn passion? Um, I completed 2019 December, and then January, the there was an opening at Passion Air. So, yeah, that's how I got to Passion Air. <laughs> how does you know you are flying? How do your interviews work? Do they put you in a simulator to know if you can really fly? Or they oh. take your word, or how, how, how do you prove yourself as a pilot when you go for an interview? Um, they ask you questions about your knowledge about flying. And then they are in, it's, they are in um, different phases, like character, like your attitude, and then the book knowledge also. And passionate, we didn't have to, we didn't have to do any simulator um, kind of test. What was your first flight with passion as first officer? Oh, I don't remember when, but must have been 2019 there. 2019. Yeah. There was a time that there was some amazing turbulence. Uh. <laughs> that, that you, were the, you were the captain during yes. the turbulence. Yes. Let's look at this clip. You know, the, she flew through turbulence. Yeah. And when she landed, the people said, ah, Charlie, you will too. Take a look at this. <laughs> So there you were, people applauding you when, you when you actually landed the plane. Ah. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, normally before we leave for any flight, we get a briefing on the weather. So like before we left for, we were in Kumasi, we were coming back to okay. Accra. So we got a report of the weather in Accra and they had said the weather was fine. But Mother Nature <laughs> decided to surprise us that day. Mm. So we came in and there was, it was, there was heavy rain overhead Accra. Wow. So unfortunately for the moment we could not land. So we were diverted, we held for about 30-40 minutes and then luckily the rain subsided wow. and we were able to land. So what the, 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 so the tower will tell you you can't land because it's too, it's too rainy. What information do you get from the tower? You know, they, they don't tell you. <laughs> they don't tell you. <laughs> they should have, but <laughs> they didn't that day. But then we realized for ourselves, yeah, that we couldn't land. So we advised them that we are going around and then we requested... So what do you do when you're going around? I mean, you, you sort of decide 
to, to stroll around a cry a bit. No, 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 no. no. You're, you're vectored. It's, it, it's controlled by the tower. Oh, okay. So they tell you where to go and what altitude to hold at because we were not the only ones. Yes. Mm, there are so many. Yes, there was, right. there was oh, those wow. Delta Airlines and there was also our. So for you, yes. is it like, you know, a scary moment for you is like no big deal? No, no, no. It was not scary, but my priority first was to fly the aircraft. We have a mantra. The first thing is to aviate, navigate, and then communicate. communicate. Aviate, navigate, navigate yes, and, and then communicate. communicate. Yes. Right. So that was my priority. First is to fly the aircraft, and then but the cabin crew did give a briefing to the passengers, and then then when I could, I talked to them. When the weather cleared, I talked to them and told them now it stopped raining. We are coming back in for landing, and we landed safely, thankfully. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, okay, communicate, navigate, and... and aviate fast. Aviate and nav navigate yeah. and navigate. So what, did you tell them at some point that, uh, excuse me, guys, uh, we, we're going to circle around a bit, we can't land now. Yes. What do you tell them exactly? No, that's the cabin crew. Oh, the cabin crew will do that. We'll do that, okay. yes. Yeah. But they will check with you. What should we tell them? Yeah. No, but they, they know. They know. They know. They know how to do Yes. Have you been in such situations? Oh, yeah. <laughs> plenty. <laughs> not plenty, but a few times. A few no. times. Yeah. yeah. That was not pleasant, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so by training, you just still keep your focus. Yeah. Do you get scared a bit or you don't get scared at all. You just have to. Uh, if I should be honest. <laughs> <laughs> a bit. A bit. Yeah. Well, that's natural. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's, that's yeah. yeah. But you have to keep the focus and. Yeah. Mm. We have to fly the aircraft. Uh, yeah. So you land at the airport and there was a whole <laughs> group of people applauding uh. and coming to <laughs> say thank you. Yes. How did, that, how did you feel then? I was shocked at first. <laughs> you were shocked? Yeah. I didn't expect it for sure. Okay. I did not expect it. But it was a nice, it was a nice surprise. Okay. And, okay. and it blew up and became a big thing. Right. Oh, sure. yeah. Yes. It's all about social media. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Well, congrats. That's, that's, thank, thank yeah. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Now we have to start <laughs> wrapping up. Yeah. And you've set up a ladybird uh, sort of a... Uh, is it a ladybird club yeah, to encourage women into flying or something? Tell me a little bit about it before we leave. Right. Um, the ladybird club is it was formed to um, groom young women and then girls to aviation because aviation, this part of the world, is not it's not part of the options as mm. to who you can be in future. So we're bringing it closer mm. to them. So yeah. Okay. Okay. And finally, Captain, yeah. how important is it to you? that lots of women get into this field. Oh, very important. <laughs> I want it to become a norm. Oh, it would be like a... Yes, a like... Thing. Yeah. We'll be like one of the guys now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, that's what I Show want. Show that for the Lady Birds, man! <laughs> oh. Well, let, let me thank both of you for, for coming to, to share your experience yeah. and for inspiring many, many ladies. Small ladies out there, young ladies, you know, you know it is possible. Right. Here yeah. are two beautiful uh, women who have done it. I call them ladybirds. <laughs> you too can be a ladybird. So yep. thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you for having us. Thank My pleasure. Yes. My pleasure. Yeah. And big up to Passion Air. And we should be flying you soon, eh? right? Yeah, you should be flying me Ooh. soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, the next time I'll fly, I'll for your schedule. And I'll oh, fly in that one. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so my next flight, they'll be flying me, man. Show you some love, man. <laughs> So guys, thank you very, very much, and um, I'm very, very happy uh, to have had this time to spend with these two ladybirds and all the things we've learned about flying. And I'm encouraging you young ladies out there, it is possible, you've seen it. Right. So for now, we will sign out because um, our work is done here, now yours is about to start. But in the meantime, what can I say? We are out of, let the whole yeah. world say, yeah. yeah.
for the KSM Show.